Right, cliff retreat and wave cut platform. So, this is the coastline. The top of this cliff face is being attacked and weathered by biological chemical freeze fall weathering. However, we're focusing on the marine processes that occur at the base of the cliff face. Now, between low tide and high tide, you get the zone of erosion. Powerful destructive waves trap air in the holes in the cliff face called cavitation and also the slightly acidic seawall erodes the base of the cliff. Over time a wave cut notch forms and the overhang above is unsupported. This process continues until eventually the cliff will collapse so you'll have mass movement and rock fall and what this does is leave behind a rocky wave cut platform at the base of the beach and this process continues again. Here's an example of a cliff that's recently collapsed. You've had mass movement of this rock. If you look here, previous cliff collapse has created a wave cut platform and deposition has occurred here creating this sandy beach. This, pic this photograph also uh, clearly demonstrates the process over time with each of these ridges being each phase of this cliff recession. Rock pools are formed at low tide and over here sand has been deposited and eventually this will turn into a sandy beach.